Welcome back to What Arty Nibs with General Disturbance. This is the M44, the Tier 6 American SPG, most beloved of most Arty players. And this one's located on the north spawn of Prokhorovka and is under the command of Sleeper 1950. Now, this beautiful skin was created by Jazzy. It's a uh, well, it's lovely. It's in uh, charcoal color with our logo on the side and is absolutely perfect. So thanks so much, Jazzy. Every time we see these, we think great, fantastic. And you can just see one of Jazzy's Mario Karts disappearing there into the distance. The AMD 178B looks like Mario's or Luigi's. Okay, well, he's setting up in this little village at the top. Now, 155 millimeter gun. 550 alpha penetration of 39 millimeters and sleeper 1950 is setting up and ready to shoot at the enemy it's a bit of an exposed position there's the mario kart oh he's gone deep into oh it's actually the enemy one and that was the first round a near miss only 22 hit points but it was a near miss T-34-85, dialing in. Rounds out. Ooh, splashed him. And he's dead. Now, we've got a King Tiger captured coming up to the uh, railway line, or the uh, the crossing. And get a shot into him. We're dialed in. We're just waiting for the reload. Rounds out on a blind shot. Nope, didn't get anything there. And we've now got a heavy tank number six, which is the Jap Japanese version of the Tiger. Going for a Black Prince as well. Oh, and the KV-85's joined us and they're sitting alongside each other. Rounds out and hits both of them. Nice, so double bubble there. It's always good when tanks line up alongside each other to shoot because uh, Artie just fires around and more than likely you'll hit both of them. Going for the heavy tank number six now, rounds out. It lands in front of him, but it still does 247 hit points. So in a brief moment of the battle starting, um, Sleeper has managed to accumulate 617 hit points, and now he's going to get some more. 206 off that one. That heavy tank is really getting hammered. He's down to just under 40% of his health. He's not going to last much longer if he keeps getting hit like this. Rounds out again. Oh, and that one went long. RNG said, no, I'm not going to the aim point. I'm going beyond. And it's another thing I think that tank drivers don't appreciate. Sometimes you press the button, aiming at a target, and the shell doesn't even go anywhere near the target. Sometimes not even in the same postcode. But that shell hit the target directly, and now he's down to 16% from 39 so we know he lost 23% of his health in that game, in that shot. And he's trying to run away. Yeah, he's not a happy bunny. And there's the AMD in his stationary, which is a very silly thing to do. Rounds out, direct hit, 213 hit points. And his wheels are all wonky now. There's the heavy tank number six. We could take it out with one shot. But he's going to go for the Black Prince because he wants to extract most hit points he can. And... Going for the Black Prince. Direct hit. Only 11 hit points though, but he tracked him. Might be a good idea. Oh, heavy tank's gone. I was going to say take the heavy tank out of the game because there's another gun gone. And it's been replaced by that King Tiger captured. He side on to us. Rounds out. Oh, it hit a tank behind the King Tiger. There was something behind him. That took the round. The round zipped past the King Tiger, but there was no explosion, so it definitely hit something that was behind the King Tiger at that moment. Goes for the KV-85. Now, I do wonder if the tank that was actually behind the King Tiger at that moment was the Black Prince, and he took the round instead. We can't see them at the moment. Nobody's spotting in the center. We really need the T-3485 to move into the bushes on the west side of the map because that will actually give us an idea. The AMD 178B has decided to scout for us and that's going to make it easier. They found a super jumbo in the, in the south and we've got some enemies on top of the hill. 
And there's the Super Jumbo. Uh, the assault version of the M4. Note that landed in front. He's going to be reloaded any second. Get another round out. So the thing about the M44, you just pump out round after round after round as quickly as you can, as many targets as you can to help your team. Rounds out. And it lands behind him again, but it still stuns him. So long as you keep them stunned, they can't do much damage to your teammates because their reload goes very, very long. Okay. Another round ready. Rounds out. We've lost sight of him now, so we don't know what that did. But over in the center, we've still got this uh, Black Prince. He's showing damage on one side, so it looks like he's been hit on that side as well. And yes, he took a round there for 191. I think that yellow mark on the side next to the turret, that was the blind shot where he fired at the King Tiger captured, and it hit the Black Prince right in the side as he drove past him. Rounds out again, and another hit, and the Black Prince is gone. The kill went to the E25. But because he was stunned at the time, Sleeper picked up 98 hit points of stun assist. There's the King Tiger. Rounds out. A bit premature on that one. 59 splash. He wasn't fully dialed in. Almost ready to go again. KV-85 this time. Stopped to take a shot. He's pulling back and... Oh, he's dead! The Jackson got him. A 90mm round finished him off. And going for the King Tiger captured. Just completing the reload. Work out where he's headed. And then place the round there. Round's out. Okay, we found a Leo, the other side of the railway line. Now, they're very lightly armoured mediums, so an RT round will do a lot of damage to him. Rounds out. Oh, he's dead before the shell arrives! <laughs> well, that's useful. So we're still looking for that King Tiger captured. With six tanks up on the enemy at the moment, they're really suffering. Sleeper still hasn't got a kill in this game, but he certainly has picked up a lot of damage. 1,656. There's King Tiger. He just killed our AMD. And he just got hit for 30 hit points, and I think that was in the turret. Is there a yellow mark on the side? Oh, actually, it looks like it was just underneath the turret. Just underneath on the turret, turret ring. T29 up on the hill. Rounds out. Lands next to him and tracks him. And the Panther's down. T29 just took an, uh, uh, an AP round. Went straight through the turret. You can see the hole right inside. And he's gone. There's only four enemies remaining. That Super Jumbo, the King Tiger captured. Their RT, which is an AMX-13 F3. And a Type 58 we haven't seen. And that King Tiger captured. He's a splash kill now. Okay, just put the round near him. Should kill him. Oh, our teammate comes over and gets the kill. The Scorpion did it. And that, that uh, tank destroyer's got no armor whatsoever, really. And he's a very cheeky kill. He just literally jumped over the railway lines. And fired on the move, and that's a 90mm gun doing a huge amount of damage to that King Tiger captured. And now the enemy only has their Air Mix 13 F3 and this Super Jumbo. And he's right up against the edge of the map. We're loaded. Round's out. He pulls forward. Oh, and the round lands a bit long. And it misses him. If we put a round into his rear, he just killed our E25. Rounds out. Splash of 153. He's gone. T43 got him. And that means there's just the enemy RT to find. Now, he was last seen over here in this dip. There he is. Now, Sleeper can get this one. 
Oh, it lands right next to him and stuns him. But unfortunately, Sleeper doesn't get the kill. So he's ended the battle with no kills whatsoever, but he did do a lot of damage. So let's have a look at the end of battle stats. It's an ace tanker for Sleeper 1950 and the M44. He did get a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits, crew incapacitations or module damage. In fact, he got 23 in that game. And he got a gauze medal for doing more damage than 10 times the hit points of his own vehicle. And uh, he also, on top of that, picked up a confederate for hitting more of the enemy than anyone else. So at least six tanks subsequently taken out by other teammates and to finish it off a high caliber as well for dealing the most damage in the game and he was very active and as I said that's what you do in an M44 you keep pumping those shells out at every enemy you can see to do as much damage in the time allotted as you can and eventually it works out at medals so let's have a look at team score there is top of the table 2,718 hit points in total. Next high score was that M56 Scorpion. Very good work for a, a tank that's got no armor. 2,585 hit points for him. And the next high score was the Type 58 who got 2,245. But I noticed something. He TK'd one of his own team. Yeah, unfortunately, he did kill one of his own guys. And that's probably why he was hiding at the back. Um, there may have been some problem that we were unaware of during the battle. Um, but the highest number of kills actually goes to the Scorpion and the AMD M4. 49 he got three kills and the m56 got three kills and then it's two apiece for the t43 the t3485 and the amx 13 f3 on the xp side we can see that sleeper 1950 despite the fact that he got no kills he certainly got the highest base xp 1164 935 for the scorpion 784 for the panhard 178b um, for doing all that spotting. I mean, it must have been a huge amount of spotting. Yes, it was. 3,049 hit points of spotting. So he was very effective. He must have picked up a nice amount of credits for that game. We can see that Sleeper fired 28 rounds in that game. You got eight direct hits, no penetrations, but 22 splash. Damage of 2,718 hit points, all of it at more than 300 meters. He hit nine of the enemy. That's three fifths of the enemy team were hit by him. And he did 669 hit points of stun assist of 22 stuns. On a free to play account, he earned 34,331 credits. And after ammunition resupply, and the ammo is fairly cheap on the M44, he took away 20,191 credits. And that's very good for a free to play account. He picked up base XP 1,164 times four for the first victory of the day and took away 4,656. So very nice ace tanker there for Sleeper 1950. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel. We get great replays like this all the time and it would be a pity if you missed some of the good ones. So thanks for watching.